my ass. Oh, yeah, that's the that's the one. <laughs> <way. laughs> that was the one I'm looking. What the and, fuck you looking at? Yeah, <laughs> oh, no, damn, that is true. Yeah, yeah. All right, facts, man. So today here on One Take, we got a real special guest. Definitely my homeboy. Definitely be going crazy promoting the parties out here in, in the A. Be doing some of the biggest parties. The shit going crazy with the music, you know what I'm saying? For the folks that might not know you, let them know who we got. Man, Baby Keith, man. Right Baby way. Keith, man. You already know one, one, one third of Rizzo, one of the biggest groups coming out of Atlanta, man. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah you know, we kick shit like that, bro. Yeah, the right way, the it's right way. Show. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Appreciate you pulling up and rocking, my Absolutely. boy. Absolutely. We definitely had to get something going. You know what I'm saying? Oh, God, I had to. So, 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 we going to jump straight into it. Um, where you from, bro? Man, I'm originally from Nashville, Tennessee. You know what I'm saying? But I, you know, I've been out here since I was eight. I've yeah. Been in, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I came out here on the east side, on the east side to Gwinnett. So really, like, east side, north side, like my home, that's turf. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So it's your show. Oh, yeah, no, nah, that's real, yeah, that's man. real. So how was, like, middle school for you? Middle school, man, middle school was, was, was you know, it was different, man. Like, well, really, because when I came out here, I was, I was elementary, middle school, high school. Yeah. But, you know, coming from Nashville, that shit country. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I'm just being real, but it's yeah. country, bro. A lot of white kids and shit. I come out here, bro. It ain't nothing but everybody straight niggas. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Right. So, but I liked it. I embraced it. Like it didn't. I felt at home. I felt more at home here than you know yeah. being in, in Nashville, man. So, so middle school was cool, man. I came out here, man. You know, like got onto the music wave. Like you know, I started getting onto goddamn Ti Luda. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because that's around the time when them niggas was popping. Popping. So when I was a jet, Shawty Low, Shawty Low, like okay. all of them. You know what I'm saying? Like Luda was my favorite rapper when I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? So one of my favorite. Right. When I was a kid, that like, yeah, was my favorite rapper, bro. You can't tell me nothing about Luda, bro. <laughs> oh God, you can't tell me nothing, bro. So yeah, you know. he he. What Luda Chris, like what he did for me, like he showed me the difference. That's when I learned the difference between mainstream and like, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Like Kind of not underground, but like, cause like Shawty Low. He was like a straight stunning. underground, but a big ass stop. Yeah, he kind of crossed over to um, mainstream. You yep, know what I'm saying? Did. But see, like a nigga like what you just said, like folks, what you just said, he was mainstream and adult, yep. ludicrous. Yep. So yeah, nah, that's 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 hard. Yeah, yeah Luda was that nigga, man. I used to I used to have the braids like him. You know what I'm saying? Damn, got cut, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> used to what? Used to what? He got the Michael Vick jersey. You hear me? Like, yeah. but I'm trying to tell you, bro, that was the time, bro. You ever bumped into him? And to Luda, no, I never met Luda, Chris. No, I never met Luda, man. You know, by the time shit I got of age, man, Luda was a super, superstar. I mean, he had movies and shit. Like, yeah, yeah. Mm, Harley and Atlanta like that. Like, nigga being in L.A. and, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Nah, but I ain't never get the pleasure of meeting Luda, man. So, yeah, that's nah, definitely, coming on, soon. definitely on the bucket list yeah, yeah. for sure. For Yo sure. ass be working. I'll sit no, you fast. around a bunch of motherfuckers. Yeah, you know man. what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah. like, shit, that shit ain't nothing. So, at all. How was high school for you, bro? Man, I ain't gonna lie. High school was lit, bro. Like, I ain't gonna hold you, like, Middle school, like I had, I, I, I was just, cause I ain't never been no ladies man. Like from like elementary, middle school, like it was like at a medium, like. Yeah. But I got to high school, bro. I, I trimmed up cause I was playing football. I lost oh, a lot yeah. of weight. I cut my braids off. Yeah. So it had the low cut, and at the time, like the low cut was going crazy. Cause by the time I went to high school, like that's when you had folk like like Chris Brown and and, and you know them type of people, like so. Yeah, them niggas wait, had wet, the waves and man, shit. Man, what man? It had the, all the girls in high school going crazy over the over over them. Them R and B singers and shit, man. So when I went to high school, bro, it was just a whole different game, bro. I got a lot of attention. That's how my grades started slipping for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? Cause bro, I'm not worried about real wet, man. He, he got got down. Keisha got down trying to get my, my phone number. Then you know what I'm saying? So like, I was just wasn't worried about school for real, bro. Like I just, I just wasn't focused. You know what I'm saying? So it took me to really I got to my junior year when I like had to tighten up and straighten up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But man, yeah, high school was lit, bro. It was a journey, bro. Like. I wouldn't trade that shit for nothing. That shit was exactly how it should be for any kid. Yeah. For, in my, you know, experience for it, it was lit. You yeah, know no, that's good. And so, then you say you were playing football, so you was killing shit. Yeah, yeah, I play, yeah, I was playing football since I was since Nashville, bro. Nashville came here, kept playing. Like, yeah. I was playing, I was a football head, bro, for sure. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah. Yeah, yeah, big shout out to football. Oh, for sure, my son, that nigga, big ass football head. Yeah, like, yeah, bro. It's, it's crazy because, like, now, bro, like, I'm more than basketball now. Like, damn. I, I, and then I guess just because, like, that's a, you know, when I work out, go to the gym and shit, like, I always go because I be going to LA Fitness, YMCA. I got a hoop, bro, like, because that's a part of my workout regimen. They don't play football no more? No, bro, who playing football, bro? I'm, ain't nobody, saying, I'm ain't, saying, like, niggas ain't doing the football, nah, bro. Nah, 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 nah. Niggas ain't doing pick up, pick up football no more, bro. Nah, like, nigga too old, now. Nigga too old, bro. Ain't trying to run. You got, we got to play flag football. Yeah. Yeah, we, we ain't about to play tackle. You know what I'm saying? With no pads and on the concrete. Like, oh, shit. I'm nah. going to 
high school and fucking elementary school for me. Yeah. We played fucking tackle football with on concrete. <laughs> See, that's the shit. And I was doing that too, but by the time, like, you know what I'm saying? I was like, bro, that's crazy as hell. Why would I do that? Oh, my soul, man. That shit man. crazy, bro. Now we used to hit. fuck ourselves up. No, but God. We I still that. got bruises and stuff. I was just, and shit. I I God, to say that. that like, shit. Yeah, yeah. Bro, and then, you know, in Chicago, I'm from Chicago, bro. It be snowing. So mm. we are playing in the snow, too. That's just yeah. as good, though. That's lit, though. I ain't gonna yeah. lie. It's snow like, lit. We play in the snow on the concrete out there. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Like, because it be big ass concrete or whatever, but it snowed in. Yeah. So, yeah. Nah. So, we, I ain't used to the snow, man. I gotta get it. I ain't used to that <laughs> shit. <laughs> that shit ain't nothing to get used No, hell. See, Nancy, like in Nashville, it snow. It didn't snow that much, but it snow more than it do here in Atlanta. Like, Sure. Atlanta don't hardly get it's no snow. Because it's not that far from Chicago. You know, you know what I'm saying? saying? Yeah, it's closer. So you've been here when it snowed. Here? Yeah, it snowed a couple. Of, yeah, it snowed, it snowed about maybe four. Twice. No, about so, four. Okay. Since I've been here, maybe uh, four or five times. But yeah. like, it don't be nothing crazy though. Yeah. But the city react because we ain't Ooh, used to snow. Boy. Well, they be shutting. Every, man, school shut down, job shut down, everything shut down because we ain't used to it. I remember when Black Ice came out here. That was when I first got out here. Yeah. Man, them folks. Everything shut the fuck Everything down. Everything shut down, bro. We don't know how to go. We lose our fucking mind out here when it's when it snow, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Well, the city ain't ready for that shit, man. They got to goddamn get the trucks, get the, get the, the trucks. salt. Get, you know what I'm saying? They got to clear the goddamn, and it's too much for them, man. So they don't be expecting that shit. Bro. Yeah, no, nah, that's real, bro. Yeah, yeah. So, so after high school and shit, shit was turned for you. What the fuck you end up doing after high school? I'm on parties. So how you get into <laughs> that? I mean, I stopped from on parties, man. Like, it was me and my, you know, me and my brothers, man. Like, we were just popular kids, bro. Like, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So we just took our popularity and just maximized on it. Mm. We, you know, we just tried to turn it into some money. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, you know, we, we knew all of the promoters, you know what I'm saying? Um, got in with one of my partners. So, who was one of the first promoters I started working with? Probably, man, shit, they were probably like ZTE days. Like, zero talent with my boy Cameron McClain. I don't know if you know Cameron uh, McClain. He a comedian. Uh, but... At the time, he was like, he, I went to high school with him too, but I think he was one of the ones that I was. I first started doing shit with him. Then Jamari, which is one of the biggest promoters out in the city. Mm. At the time, we were just doing like no ID parties and shit. We were like, you know, 18, 19. Yeah. We couldn't do 21 and up adult parties yet. So we was doing no ID parties and shit. So that's really what started out, bro. Like I remember our first party, bro. Like it was, it was, it was so, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Cause we ain't know how to promote for real. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So like, we just like, hey man, we about to get a party, about to come up with a name and we just about to promote. On Twitter at the time, Twitter was like the go to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I remember we had our first party, but that shit was a flop, bro. Like, I was like, bro, what the fuck, bro? But it was a learning lesson because I'm like, yo, it was a lot of things that we didn't do that we should have did. You know what I'm saying? So, bro, break it down. What's some of that shit y'all ain't do? Oh, oh man, it's, footwork is everything. Yeah. Footwork is everything. You know, I, I know now it was more of a common thing, but like getting, getting like different hosts and things like that to be a part of your party yeah. just to bring more energy to it. So it's just about energy source, bro. Like parties is nothing but energy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I think if people start looking at looking at it from that perspective, then they'll they'll have better turnouts and better results. And it's a team effort as well. Mm. So like you can't be so greedy to the point where I want to take all the money. You don't want to bring nobody else on. You know what I'm saying? Because like nigga, 100 percent of, of nothing is nothing. Nigga. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But if you bring people in for more energy, you know, I mean, you can break this shit down, split it out in a way. But at that point, man, your shit packed wall to wall. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. So y'all first party definitely was a learning experience, man. But ever since that one party, bro, we've been going up. You hear me? Yeah. So, you know. Who was we? Shot them up. Oh, we met at, at the time, man. Major game, man. Yeah, we were major game at the time, man. You know, we were running the city, man. Run, running the north, really. The, running the north. Uh, uh, major game. That was the name of the team back in the day, man. Shout out to all the team players. To this day, bro, I'm still kicking it. They still my partners. Yeah, fact. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, you know, I'm a, I'm a day one nigga, man. I keep everybody... Around from day Stay one. Solid. So yeah. my boy, my boy Mel Max, my boy Easy Khalil, you know, True shot him, you know, like all them guys, man. That's family. Oh yeah, no. Yeah, nice. yeah. You say True shot him. He from True New York. Shot him. Yeah, he from New York. Yep. So I, I went him. to high school with him, bro. Like Shout out to that's, bro. that's day one. That's a day I, one nigga. Um, right he had popped out to a boogie show in Duluth. Yeah. At Dreams. Oh yeah, and, he was there. Uh, he was like, man, bro, I have been seeing you, but I can never catch up with you. Yeah. He's like, man, let me take some pictures of you. Woo, 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 woo. But then. He was supposed to come to the pool party. That he was, was just yeah, had. yeah, he was. But he I think I think the um, address changed or some shit. But no, no, I wouldn't. I don't think it was address change. Because even with the address change, like nobody ever even knew we changed the address. For real? No, no, we I didn't promote the address. Oh, we didn't promote but, address. But, but somebody I knew, they had had that motherfucker. It was another address far away. It probably was YC. YC uh, was the only one that had the address. 
Literally. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Watsi was the only one that had it because he had pulled up to the to, to the mansion beforehand. You know what okay. I'm saying? So we had, but we had some shit that happened. Yeah. We had to change location. But luckily, that's why we don't never promote an address, especially when mm. you're doing like mansion house parties. Yeah. Bro, you don't know. You don't want to put nobody out the home address address out there like that to be promoted to the mansion. So, so, like so, that. so, when you put the address out there? The day, the, day, yeah, the day before the event. Literally, the 24 hours before the event. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's when you release it. So, that was a nice event. You think yeah. that was one of your most successful events? No, nah, hell no. Nah. Okay. Nah, it, it was lit though, but now nah, it wasn't one of the most. You had how many influencers and how many like? Boy, how, it was a lot of influencers, so bro. You, like, how did y'all set that up? With the influencers? Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, some of them just came out. Like, we had a few. Dudes. A lot of them I seen on flyers. Yeah, yeah, we had. I a few was on the flyer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so YC, YC made sure you was in the building. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, boy. Man. You know what I'm saying? While I, while I gotta be in the building, you know what I'm saying? Then I got my boy Nakia, man. Yeah. You know, he, he he hit me up, and you know, he a part of the team too. Crowd service, that's the name of the, the yeah. entertainment company. Yeah. Um. So yeah, we got we got a team, but like we we just connected with so many sources and people within the city. You know, from influencers to artists, you know, to all types of people, bro. You know what I'm saying? So. You know, all you gotta do is reach out to them, make sure you accommodate them. You know what I'm saying? Make sure when they come out, so they come out have a good time. Yeah, you know, we had White Dolan Mike come out. Yeah, we had facts. goddamn Chirp guy come out. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So we had a lot of people come out, bro. Yeah, nah, facts. Yeah, he's supposed to pull up on me too, Chirp guy. Yeah, they man, say you be going crazy. Yeah, bro, I be watching this shit now. Man, bro was in the boom, 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 going crazy, bro. Like, <laughs> bro, he went in there start dancing. It made all. I ain't like it though, cause it made all the niggas lead the, the boom, boom room. Like they, they ain't, they ain't see the, they, they ain't see the bitches. Bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think I'm probably going, but yeah, you no Boogie was in there. The Boogie was in there at the time. Oh, like, then I was outside. You was outside. Yeah. Boogie was in there cause Boogie came in the boom, boom, man, maybe for like twenty minutes. I just feel like it was longer than that. It about 20, 30 minutes. It wasn't no more than 30 minutes for sure. You sure? Yeah, I'm I'm, yeah, I'm sure. The boom, boom room. I know. I remember because we walked from the pool to, to the downstairs. Yeah. I was high as hell. That shit felt like an <laughs> hour. <laughs> no, I was hot. Man, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I was on some fucking weed lemonade, man. Oh, yeah. Shout nah. out to Thunder Rain, man. Like, I was right. on some weed lemonade, bro. I was so high. I was out my body, bro. Like, you know, <laughs> it was so much shit going on. But the weed had me so calm. There you bro. go, yeah. Like I could have, like I could have spazzed out in a lot of situations, but the weed had me. I had like forty five hundred milligrams of THC liquor, bro. Yeah. You know, not liquor, liquid. I mean, liquid. So you yeah. know, when it's liquid, this is gonna hit your bloodstream a lot faster. Fast. You're gonna get higher. Oh, that shit bro. feel like lean. <laughs> bro, bro, I was on my body, bro. I woke up. I woke up the next morning higher than I was before I went to sleep. Bro. I swear. Hey, that shit, that shit, be man. So how the fuck, like. Do you stay sh- stress free in those situations where you putting the event together? Shit, we yeah, <laughs> we for sure. No nah, man, I ain't gonna lie, man. One of my one of my uh, you know, I, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I just like really, I'm a I'm a, I'm a grounded level, you know, spiritual guy, bro. Like, so I really stay grounded. I'm a meditator. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I like spend a lot of time with myself and you know just just speaking connected with the universe. I think those things is what keep me grounded. You know what I'm saying? Like. And that, and that old me before I got into my spiritual, you know, element, like I, I, I would just do outlandish shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I, you know, I, I still pick, I still do the drugs. I smoke my weed. I do some shrooms. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But like, but outside of that, bro, like, you know, that's the main thing, bro. Just to stay some, stay sane. Yeah, nah, you know fact. Because sure. I, I be knowing that shit be stressful, like putting together big events and shit. It's stressful, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, well, what you working on event wise? What's coming up that these folks need to know about? Oh man, we got the music and taste fest coming up, man. That's August 16th to the 18th. When it's gonna be a lit ass weekend. Yeah. We got no cap. We got Sada Baby. We got Baby Drill. Yeah. You know, we got we got a, we got a lineup. We got Bria Bias. We got Asian Nay. You know, it's it's a big line of Nick Lavelle. Shout out, shout out Nick Lavelle, man. That shit gonna be gonna be lit. Yeah. Celebrity basketball game, music festival, and we got a pool party. That's like a three day weekend affair. You know what What's saying? the so event? You say what? What is it? The event, like we, 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 nigga, just doing it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So we just we just doing it, bro. Like you know, this is what we do, man. Like you know, Nick Lavelle is one of them niggas who've been doing tours and parties and for a long time, bro. Like and he, you know, he got a successful. He got a, his success rate is high. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So you definitely want to always work with credible people, and obviously we a credible source too when it comes to events. Yeah, hell so you know yeah. when you can when you combine and collab and do shit together, bro, shit is gonna be astronomical. Bro. Yeah, no, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So bro, I was just telling you that off camera, like motherfuckers be open to work with whoever. Absolutely, really. absolutely. Like, you know what I'm saying? It just gotta make sense. Gotta All the time, sense. it ain't even about the money. It just no, gotta no. make sense. Gotta still, make sense. Like, yeah. you feel me? The shit Facts. just gotta make sense. You ain't lying, bro. You know what I'm saying? So. Outside of the parties and shit, you know what I'm saying? I know your ass be going crazy on the music. Let's talk Hell about yeah. that shit. Hell yeah. Yeah, man. Was, you know, matter of fact, dog shit talk. 
today yeah. my first solo record my first one just dropped today man dog shit talking music video just released today song got me y'all make sure y'all stream it spotify apple music it's everywhere yeah. all, all, all dsps you know what i'm saying yeah so yeah man i'm excited about it man you know like you know i feel like every when you think about it, when you think about every single group, where every single group always had, you know, members of the group that always do their solo thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even if they even if they do go back to the group, because even in my situation, I'm, I'm still, you know, now I'm pursuing a solo career, but at the same time, I'm still running my real soul shit with my brother. So, yeah. like, you know, I'm not stopping that engine or machine either, because that motherfucker is, is, is up. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. really, I'm building this shit from the ground up. There you go. But real soul already is established. It got a name for itself. Like... And I probably didn't even realize until I was like in, in like the notion of well, I, was, I realized it, but like when I was going through the process of just you know creating a YouTube channel, you know getting the the the, the platforms on the, you know in the back office ready, it's like it's a lot of work that got to be done. You know what I'm saying? Versus real so when you when you do a release, nigga, it's shit easy because nigga your shit is already set up. You know what I'm saying? So what you mean for us like the label? Well, yeah, what when I say back office, I mean just like you know as far as. Like it's it's simple stuff, bro. Like right now, if, if I go to Rich Soul pay, Apple Music page or Spotify page, but you see you see the bio in there, you see yeah the cover art. They got a picture attached to the name. It's like it's, it's, it's well presentable. Put it's well yeah. put together. They go to Google. We got a whole panel. Verif we got a verified yeah. panel as Rich Soul. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But when you type in Baby Keep, but that shit don't yeah don't nothing come up. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you got to keep working. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I'm starting from the ground. With the solo career, baby Keith. Obviously, I got a, you know, I got a cheat code because I came from a successful group. So yeah. I got the follow. I got people that's already on the on the motion with what I'm doing. But at the same time, like you still got to flood the fucking gates of having an online presence. Fact. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's a process. That's really how I be doing my shit. Like I'm from the right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's the same shit. Like NGB. That shit successful back at the crib. Like, yeah. I know what the fuck yeah. that shit is. It got a big following. I already got over so many millions of views. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. So it's like, bam. Then now it's like I'm doing my other shit. Yeah. But then I'm still doing that shit with them. So yeah. I get what you're saying. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, Hell yeah. It's, 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 it's almost like starting over in a sense. Yeah. But at the same time, you're not because you know you experience. You got the knowledge to do and build how you want to build it because you already did it with NLB. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But now that you branched off doing your own thing, you got the you got the fucking, you know, you got the the pamphlet or you know the the structure on how to put it together. There you go. Because you, know. you learned that from the experience before. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So on on a music note, is there anybody that you want to work with that you haven't worked with? Uh not not really, bro. Like I, I'm a type of nigga, man, I'm an energy guy. Like, you know, I just I I work with folks off energy. Fact. You know what I'm saying? So like you know, if I meet a if I meet an artist, we like vibe out real good, man. Like, I'm I'm not the type of nigga like, all right, man, I vibe. Let's do a song, dude. let's do a song. I'm not that nigga, bro. Like, if yeah. if we vibe, it gotta organically happen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm not the type of nigga unless I'm just trying to come out of pocket and I just in a dire need of a, a feature, then that's different. But in most situations, man, I'm just going off energy. You know what I'm saying? So I got a better one for you, then. Motherfucker got 150k to get you a feature. Who you rap? <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. You up with that yeah, 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 yeah. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. So if 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 I if I had to pick, if I had a hundred and fifty thousand, and I had and you ain't even gonna spend the whole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, I, you, I could take 50, 50, 50 and do get three different features from it. There you type go. shit. You know what I'm saying? So like. And, and ah, damn, that's, that's good. Tough. That's good now, cause that means you get to pick three. You people. get to pick three people you want so those three songs people with. that you. But want. you can't pick no A list, cause A list gonna want the whole one fifty. No, I'm she saying like yeah. pick like pick just just say names at this point. Man, we ain't gonna think about the. But if it was Drake, if it was like a little Still baby. Drake. <laughs> I mean, Drake gonna want a quarter million. You hear me? Like, one fifty yeah. ain't enough for that nigga, man. Like, I'm talking about because the Kendrick Lamar shit. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah no, nah, nigga, still gonna say Drake. Man, yeah, you know, I ain't, ain't crazy now. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> the bitches, the, the, the Drake pieces, they changing lives. Like, bro, I'm trying wrong. to tell you, bro. So, like, but you said Drake, baby, and who else? Yeah, Drake, little baby. Uh, we got man. I'm a cold head. I like Ken I like Kung Fu Kenny. I'm gonna go Kendrick too. Kendrick, I, hell yeah, I have a song. Uh, uh, Jay yeah. Lamar, yeah, Jay yeah, Cole, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like them folk, like I, I fuck with. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like Money Bag Yo, Money Bag Yo was actually doable. I can, that's some shit. You know what I'm saying? Can got down. 
Oh, you work know, out for sure. Niggas are real. Yeah. For sure. You, know you see saying? that cup over there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. CMG. CMG. I got yeah. one too. Yeah. 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 So you know, goddamn. Yeah, like, I got know. one too. Yeah. So you know, like food and shit. That's that, 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 that reachable. That shit yeah. is super reachable. Yeah. I can really all this shit reachable for real, for real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause I got we got a I man. I got a team, man. Like this shit ain't really nothing without no team, bro. Yeah. Everybody got be saying that. This shit's a fact, bro. Like team is everything. Without a team, you only gonna get so far. You know. That's why you know. Success is really best. It's predicated on collaboration. If you don't collaborate, if you don't form a team or formulate a team and structure, bro, like you want to, you only gonna get so far. Nobody got to the top by themselves. By themselves, nobody, bro. And if you did, I mean, it's cool. You can, you can have fun by yourself. You can get, you can get far. Like if you want to equate it to money, yeah, I mean, I can go ahead and give me a little cool seventy-five, you know, hundred thousand, hundred fifty thousand, even maybe even a quarter million by myself. I mean, a quarter, yeah, a quarter million about two hundred fifty thousand. But like, if you trying to be a millionaire, bro, you trying to reach the billions, bro, you gonna have to get your team, bro. <laughs> it's yeah, a fact. Yeah, fact. it's a fact, bro. And that's how I always been, anyways. Like, anytime I have some shit going on, like my immediate circle, yeah. Like, if I'm turning up, like back in the day in the rack, yeah, I'm putting them niggas down. Cause shit, shit I don't want to be the only one that's around this bitch balling. You know what I'm saying? Facts, yeah. Then, you know, in Chicago, it'll make a motherfucker look at you with the side. I'm yeah. Like, oh, this bitch ass nigga. So, no, I never did that. Like, anytime I had an opportunity, I put my team on. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. That's up to them if they fuck it up or whatever. <laughs> right, right, right. Like, I showed you how to do this shit. Oh, God. You know what I'm saying? I can, I can take you to the water. I can't make you drink it. There you go. You know what I'm saying? But, like, but yeah, like you said, it's, I feel like it's a responsibility to boy. Bring them niggas to the water. Yeah, no, I'm facts, saying? facts, 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 facts. Absolutely. And they got to want to come to the water, too. No, <laughs> facts. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to tell you, man. Like, yeah. Because E-Day, man, you know, it'd be, it be, it be kind of hard playing for. I just made a post, man. I, I just, I just funny because I made this post today. Yeah. I said, I said, success is a, a, a great thing when you're talking about it. Sounds great. Feels great when you're talking about it. But it feels even better when you're in emotion of actually doing and pursuing and sustaining that success. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Nice. Like, nigga, that's way better than just talking about it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But in the midst of doing that, like, you know, yeah, you got to surround yourself with people that's, you know, that's fueled by that same energy. You know what I'm saying? You got to surround yourself by the people, but it, but it, but when you surround yourself with the people, it filters, it filters out a lot of, a lot of your day ones and family yeah, members. Yeah, man. And that's the part that sucks. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, but at the end of the day, bro, like, that's just something that you got to take with a grain of salt. You know what I'm saying? Like, but but that's just a harsh reality for a lot of people that, that has become successful. Yeah, you got to leave people, yeah, you gotta leave some people behind, bro. Everybody got can't go to, with you. Got to. Everybody can't go with you, bro. Yeah, that shit, that shit really had fucked me up, though, like, with this shit. That was the thing that I never seen coming. Like, yeah. You just myself. knew everybody was going to come with you. Just knew it. Well, like, what? Just knew it, goddamn. Man, everybody, what? but no, like, some motherfuckers, you know how that shit be. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm man. saying? Yeah, and, it, and and I think and I think some people, man, like you know, you got some thorough niggas. Like I'm raised, I'm raised as a, like it's a, it's a more it's like it's instilled in me. It's a morality for me, like yeah. to be loyal. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So like, but you can only be loyal for so much. Like you don't want to be loyal to a fault, to where you so loyal to where it's actually bringing you down. You so loyal. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So like, you can only extend that shit for so for, for so far. But at the end of the day, man, as long as you still look out for your people. You still reach back, always present the opportunity, like you said, man. Bring folks to the water, still. Yeah, like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's one shit. One of these days, it might click for them. You know what I'm saying? Go. It might click for them. But yeah. until then, until shit, then, shit. I, it, it can't stop your emotion, though. Yeah, it, <laughs> it can't. can't. It, it can't, can't, bro. That's all the motherfuckers we wanted to see. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? For it might be some motherfuckers out there that's like want to be a promoter or want to be a successful rapper like yourself and shit, bro. Like. Get them a positive message. Shit, don't stop. Man, like I just said, man, surround yourself with people that's fueled, people that got a desire to want to fucking win. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's, what it's, that's what it's about, yeah. man. Surround yourself with them type of people. Put them type of people on your team, but still go to your circle first. Before you go to anybody outside, your family and the people that you fuck with, go to them, see, hey, man, who want to goddamn be get hop on this motherfucking train because we going to the top. Yeah. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, See who you want to get. Who, see who's going to be willing to want to be a part of that that mission with you. Yeah. Select them guys, put them in position, and then from there, man, take all y'all. Y'all surround yourself with them same people that got the desire to want to win, man, and shit. Just keep going, man. Don't stop. Yeah. The only time you fail is when you stop. You know what I'm saying? Man, I keep fact. hearing that shit. That's, That's why nigga don't be trying to stop with nothing. Man, like, consistent, like you said, the collaboration is Absolutely. the goddamn key to getting to where you need to be. The shit show, especially if you know what I'm saying, like. 
you know, just collab with motherfuckers. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying, bro? I ain't gonna take up too much of your time. I know you got a goddamn lot of shit going on. Got some parties. I'm about to go, I'm really about to go to Dreams after this. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, so, hey man, hey, dr- hey, Dreams having a goddamn uh, free food for five to eight, bro. Like, I think that, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm about yeah, to pop out, man. Shout dude. out to my boy. Shout yeah. out to my boy. Matter of fact, Dream is one of the ones that I was doing the parties with back in my early days. Mm. Like, man, me and Dream were running shit up, bro. Oh, yeah. That's, no, my, brother, bro. That's yeah, my brother, bro. That's my brother. with him, so yeah. uh, he definitely going to see this because he followed me and you. For shit show. And he already told me he was willing to pull up on me. He just so goddamn busy. Yeah. So when you see with that this, damn restaurant, you see this going to pull up, goddamn. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, bro, shit. I think we came up with some viral. We let motherfuckers know shit about you. Tell these folks how to follow you. Man, y'all make sure y'all follow me. It's Baby Keith, man. Every goddamn way, except for goddamn YouTube. It's I'm Baby Keith. But it's Baby Keith everywhere. Twitter, Instagram. Make sure y'all follow my team, my gang, Rich Soul. Shout out to my brother, Astro Justin, Rich Soul, on everything. And y'all tap in, man. Yeah. We're going crazy. Thanks, bro. So appreciate you for pulling up, bro. Yes, sir. Appreciate That's you, it, bro. My dog. Yes, yes sir. You know it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, bro. I think, like I say...